היי גייז, אין דיס וידאו, אני אקח קלוס רלוק על כמה מהם של הורה מודול, הטווין קוורטט, LFO ואמפליטוד, שהם שלושה מודול, ורליף וטמבר, שהם קומרשל מודול. בואו נתחיל. Okay, so here they are. We have the twin quartet, which is actually two low frequency oscillators with various phase outputs. We have amplitude, which is a VCA, a mixer, an inverter with nice features like accent and auxiliary inputs. We have a tumbler, a voltage controlled filter with two slope outputs, a send and return for the resonance. It has also an accent input and a few more cool features. And we have relief. a complex envelope generator with two envelopes, a trigger delay section and a level detector. Let's start by looking at a twin quartet and at all of its features. So, like I mentioned, the twin quartet has actually two low frequency oscillators, both of them are bipolar, so their voltage range is between negative 5 and positive 5 volts, and we have a master LFO and a slave LFO, The master sets the overall rate of frequency, and with the slave LFO we can divide or multiply this frequency. We have the main rate knob with a dedicated CV input, and the slave rate knob with one in the middle, which is the same frequency as the main one, and by turning the knob to the left we can divide the frequency, or by turning it to the right we can multiply the frequency, And of course, also the slave rate knob has a dedicated CV input. We have a global reset button and a dedicated trigger input, and we can choose different waveforms for each LFO by using the waveform knob. We have a sine wave, a triangle wave, a sawtooth wave, and a square wave. Now, the interesting thing about this module are the different phase outputs. We have four different outputs for each LFO, and also the green knobs with dedicated CV inputs. Next to each output we have a multiplied by number, which means that the phase of the signal coming out from each output will be set according to the position of the degree knob, multiplied by the number that stands next to the output. So the signal coming out of the zero degree output will always be in normal phase, And let's connect also the first multiplied output, and the phase should be 90 degrees off, because the degree knob is set to 90. Let's connect also the other two outputs to the second scope, and we should get a wave with a phase of 180 degrees off, and of 270 degrees off. So we have four slightly different waveforms from the same LFO, and again we can play with the degree knob to get different results. The slave LFO works the same, but here the rate is set according to the main frequency, so we can have four more different outputs, which are somehow related to the master LFO. So here we have four even VCOs from Befaco, differently tuned from one another, outputting sawtooth waves to four tangents filters, And from there they are going through a four channel mixer to the main mixer and a reverb. The cutoff points of the filters are being modulated by the first LFO of the twin quartet, and I also have constants from ML modules sending a constant voltage equivalent to seven semitones higher in pitch to all four even VCOs. The voltage is going through flow from AS modules, and each time I let the voltage through, The pitch of the even VCOs goes up 7 semitones. You could hear how the cutoff points of the filters open and close in different phases according to the different phases of the LFO. We have also four FM operators from BOG Audio 
also going through a four channel mixer to the main mixer and the reverb, and they receive pitch information from the second LFO of the first twin quartet. The signals go through black holes from the geodesics modules in order to attenuate them slightly, and then they go through Ervin from AppleSense modules to the volt per octave inputs of the oscillators. Another twin quartet module is modulating the feedback amount of the FM operators, and the second LFO of this twin quartet is modulating the degree of the first one. Ok, let's move on to Tumber, a voltage controlled filter with two slopes, 12 dB per octave and 24 dB per octave, and you can see both on the spectrum analyzer coming from a sawtooth wave from the even VCO. We have the main input and a dedicated gain knob, and this filter has four different modes, low pass, high pass, band pass, and band stop. We have the main frequency knob with two dedicated CV inputs, one with a dedicated attenuator and another one without attenuation. We also have an accent input for opening the cutoff point at specific rhythmic places, and it has a dedicated envelope knob for changing the signal over time, for making it more snappy or with longer decay. The resonance is quite interesting in this module because we don't just have a resonance knob, we can also overload the resonance using this knob, and we can also create a feedback loop using the send and return input and output, what can create really interesting sounds and effects. So here we have two functional VCOs receiving pitch information from the phrase sequencer through the shift register, and they are outputting square waves to two timbre filters, and the pulse width of the square wave is modulated by the first LFO of the twin quartet. Both filters have the same settings, and both receive a gate to their accent inputs. The gate, however, is coming from the second gate of the phrase sequencer, going through branches, the Bernoulli gate, so every now and then the cutoff of one filter is opening, and we get this rhythmic pattern. Then we have an even VCO, receiving pitch information from another phrase sequencer, and it's outputting a sawtooth wave to another timbre filter. The cutoff point of the filter is being modulated twice, once by the second LFO of the twin quartet, and once by an ADSR module, which receives a gate at specific times from the second gate of the phrase sequencer. The last voice is coming from the FM operator, which receives speech information from yet another phrase sequencer, and it's then going once to the mixer, and once through the signal delay module from AS, to the return input of another timbre filter. 
the signal coming out of the send output of the filter is going back to its main input, creating a feedback loop 41 milliseconds delayed from the signal coming out of the FM operator, and the resonance of the filter is all the way up, it's set to band pass mode, and the feedback amount of the FM operator is modulated by the second LFO of the twin quartet. So let's look now at amplitude and relief, which are kind of related modules, envelope generators and VCAs, so we will look at them together. So amplitude is a twin VCA, it has two main inputs with dedicated attenuverters, so we can also invert the incoming signal, and we can also mix a third signal through the auxiliary input, which has a dedicated attenuator. We have two main outputs, and all three signals are mixed and coming out of the mixed output, which again has also a dedicated attenuator. Now, both VCA sections have a strength input, which is our CV input for using with envelope generators for example, and the first VCA section is also an accent input with a dedicated envelope knob for adding a sort of a peak in volume as accents in specific times. We also have a small 4 LED screen, which indicates vertically the phase and amplitude of the incoming signal, and horizontally the phase and amplitude of the strength function. Let's look at relief. Relief has two identical envelope generators and a trigger delay section. We can trigger the envelopes manually by clicking this button, or by sending a gate to their gate input. We have two modes, Attack Decay and Attack Release, and we can change between the modes by clicking this slider, and both Attack and Decay Release knobs have dedicated CV inputs. We also have a Level knob with a dedicated CV input, and we have also three outputs for each envelope, a Threshold and Envelope CV outputs, and an End of Envelope Trigger output. From the Envelope output we will get a generated envelope, From the end of envelope output we will get a trigger each time the cycle of the envelope comes to an end, and from the threshold output we will get a gate according to the level of the envelope set by the threshold knob. Now the trigger delay section can delay an incoming signal, and by turning the delay knob we can determine by how much the signal will be delayed, and we can use this to create variation in rhythm for example. We also have a pulse width knob for changing the pulse width of the outcoming signal, and we have two outputs, an end of delay output and the main output. From the end of delay output we will get a trigger every time the delayed signal comes to an end, and from the main output we will get a delayed signal, but also here there is a cool trick, by using this slider here we can choose if to send the delay signal directly to the second envelope section or not. So we can route this signal and use it directly without the need to use extra modules. So here we have two Chebyshev oscillators from Squinky Labs, and the level of their fundamental frequency and their first three harmonics are modulated by the twin quartet. I'm using relief to modulate their overall level, and the lower envelope section is being triggered by the delayed signal through the trigger delay section of relief and the delayed signal itself is triggering a kick drum module, also from Hora. We 
also have the palm loop oscillator from 21 kHz and it's outputting 3 waveforms to amplitude, 2 to its main inputs and 1 to its auxiliary input and it's receiving pitch information from constants through a sequential switch. The two main outputs are going directly to the mixer and the mix output is going first through timbre. Amplitude is receiving CV from another relief and the accent inputs of both amplitude and timbre receive CV from the threshold outputs of both envelope sections. Another voice we have is coming from the FM operator, it's receiving pitch information from the grid sequencer, which receives a trigger from the output of the trigger delay section of this relief module, its feedback amount is being modulated by another relief module, which is triggered by the grid sequencer through its trigger delay section. And that's it guys, those were the twin quartet, amplitude, relief and timbre from horror modules. Like always, there will be a link in the description to all the different patches we looked at today. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and hit the bell. And have a good one.